Dad. Dad. What? I'm hungry. Oh, what a coincidence. <laughs> Why are you laughing? This wasn't planned. This is all natural. That's how we live. It just happens that we just have everything set up perfectly. Right? Perfectly. Perfectly. <laughs> okay. For today, we have my killer recipe for the best, the most incredible Philly cheesesteak sandwiches. sandwiches. Uh, yeah. Here's <laughs> what you need. Yeah, we're gonna start off. We're gonna have a mix of ribeyes, tenderloins mm. that we're gonna season with love, <laughs> which is mainly salt and pepper. We have five hot dog Bun. sandwich buns that we're gonna because treat not here. delicately in a minute. Then you can see some shredded White uh, cheddar. No, that's cheddar. Oh, cheddar. And garlic. Some garlic. And, and the secret weapon over here is dill. Yep. And your sh and then cheddar the cheese. Cheddar, yeah, cheddar cheese, which is chopped up. A and then bit. you need six onions. I mean, as much as you can, because these things, when you as much grill as them, you're gonna, you're gonna, they're gonna get reduced in size. As much as you want. Yeah. And then pickles. Oh, yeah. Already cut for us. Uh -huh. And then you can use any butter, but we use this Vegan. kind of, yeah. And okay. then mustard, mm -hmm. mayonnaise, and rice milk. Oh, rice milk. why we're using rice milk? Because we're trying to go light. Hi. So instead we, of using cream, we're yeah. going to use because rice, rice milk. Yeah. And you'll see why in a minute. And, okay. uh, and butter. Magic oh, butter. we forgot that. You have we to melt some butter with a brush so we can use it later. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, guys, let's get started. Woo! Now, what we're going to do, we got to butter the buns. Butter the buns. So butter the buns, so Selena. The under the oh, supervision of Leo and I, yeah. Watch your hair. Yeah. Butter each side generously. So, like yeah. Gently. Yeah, more. Gently but generously, like a lot. Alright. Yeah. And then we we do all both the five. Sides. Yeah, both sides are great. Alright? Do yeah. the other side. Do the other side. Yeah, now Oh my God. I think that's, is that enough? It is. All right. Okay. So, this is how much? Perfect job. <laughs> now, yeah. put these babies into the microwave. For how long? For 30 seconds, let's say. So they soften and the melting yeah. butter will be like gooey and gooey. Yummy. And yummy. Exactly. All righty. So now, we're going to start with the onions. We're going to caramelize the onions. So I already have a pan heating up and uh, with a little bit of olive oil. So what you do is you wait for the oil to heat up a bit, which I just, you know, I think it reached good temperature right here. And you drop in yeah, the sizzling. Yeah, perfect. And now you stir until they get, you know, to a certain brownish color. And then you season give them some time before you season so that they warm up and they open up and suck in the flavor of the seasoning all right now when the color is like that you put a little bit of salt a little bit of pepper all right so we're not using cream we're going to make it a little bit light so we're going to put rice milk instead of cream you can use fresh cream up to you guys, all right? I'm gonna put some rice milk here, and then we'll get the shredded cheese. Ladies, can I get the shredded uh, cheese? Here you go. Okay, here's your white cheddar going in. Can I get the yellow cheddar? Yeah, yellow cheddar. There you go. All right, yeah, the cheddar going in. And the secret weapon is oh. what? The dill. The dill. Yeah, let's mix this baby in. Uh, give me the dill. Here you go. So okay, can you put the dill in? All? Yeah, all the dill in. You're good. That's yeah. perfect. Now we mix it up. Okay, I need some mayo. We forgot the mayo. Bring in the mayo, bring in the mayo. we need the No, the big spoon. Yeah, big yeah. spoon. Good. Now, a big dollop of mayo in here, like two of them actually. A big blob of mayo. This one. And then another one. And two. 
and that good? You and now you're talking. Yeah. Do you need your mustard? And you stir until the whole thing melts into beautiful, creamy, cheesy, oniony kind of thing. All right, so now we're gonna season up the tenderloins. Be generous with the salt, don't be scared. And then the ribeyes. This is sea salt, so it gives it like a beautiful flavor. Then go with the pepper. Yeah, let's give it a More pepper here. Yes. Yeah, be generous, don't be scared. Pepper and steak is the best combination ever. Perfect marriage. Guys? All right, so. I've preheated a cast iron skillet. This is a must have if you're gonna do the Philly cheesecake, uh, cheesecake, cheesesteak sandwich the right way. So it's like flaming hot. I'm gonna pour in the olive oil. Be careful, it will sizzle. Oh, it didn't. But anyway, it's flaming hot. You can see the fumes coming up. Can you see the fumes? All right. Then I'm gonna throw in my steaks one at a time. Here we go. This is what I'm looking for. Yeah, the second one in. Oh my goodness. All right. Then, throw in a bunch of garlic salt. Give it two, three minutes on each side. That's it. No more. We want it a little bit pink and juicy in the middle. I just flipped the first one. You can see the color, amazing. Oh, baby. Ooh, this is it. And now, give me a spoon, Leona. Big spoon, please. Now, what you're gonna do, and this is now very tricky, I'm gonna put in the juice and then give it a little shower. All this garlic is there. Pick up a couple of garlic. Let this sit on the top, so it gives it the flavor we want. So we made it. One minute on that side, that's all we need, and then we take it off. All right, now it's time to take them off. The perfect. We put them on the wooden planks to rest. They should rest for about 10 minutes before you slice them, so the juice will stay in and distribute evenly. Okay, now it's time for the tenderloin. Tenderloins cook much faster, by the way, so you have to be very careful with the tenderloin. God is getting super excited with the smell of the meat. Now the tenderloins have gone beautifully, so we'll take them off, yeah. let them rest. All right, now we're talking. And here comes my surprise to you guys. See this thing, this little beauty that's left in the bottom of this cast iron? What do you do is you take approximately a liter of water, you dump it in on this here, this water vapor, and then you let it soak in all these flavors and simmer on a very light fire until it reduces, okay? And this will be the au jus version of the Philly cheese cake when we, you know, Put the whole sandwich together, then we're gonna sift this liquid, it's gonna be warm, it's gonna be nice, flavorsome, and then you dip it in this liquid and then bite into it. Oh yeah, baby, I can see you. I can see you dancing. Yeah, that's the dance of joy coming up very soon. Get ready. All right, now second step after the buns come out of the microwave is you put a dash of yeah, exactly. Mustard that we haven't <laughs> opened yet. So a dash of mustard. Hold on a second. There you go. Mm -hmm. All right, hang in there. All right, here we go. So a dash of mustard. Close it. Go back to the other one. Do the same. A dash of mustard. So These are done, and so on and so forth until we finish the whole batch. So now. We're gonna cut them. They rested for 10 minutes. We're gonna slice them up into little 
thin strips, okay? Mm. You can see the cutter. That's the cutter we want, all right? Leona, can you show the yeah. cutter? That's exactly the cutter we want, all right. Now, we keep on cutting this until we cut through all. I'll show you one of the tenderloins, how it looks from the inside. Is exactly what I wanted. This is the perfect color. Can you check it out? Yeah. This is it. All right. We'll come back in a minute. Okay. Now that we've finished cutting them all, we season with a little bit of salt. Not too much because we're already seasoned. Just to give it an extra flavor. Pepper to taste. I like mine a little bit peppery. So I'm gonna give it a shot here. All right. Now we're ready. Now you remember the skillet with the juice in it, the au jus. Now we're gonna do is we're gonna sift it in a little mug. Oh, what happened to this? It's okay. <laughs> okay, here we go. That's now, it. Now we're gonna do the montage. Montage. Montage means the assembly of the sandwich. It's a montage. It's a montage. So we go like one pickle, and two pickle. pickles. I like two. Yeah. Don't ask me why. Now there's two ways of doing that. There's the French dip way. The French dip is you don't use the sauce. Now, you dip it in the sauce. It's called the French dip. So what you do is you take a bunch of meat. Mm-hmm, mm -hmm. yummy. Hungry. Yeah. Get it like all the way. And fill it up. How can and it then, close? Oh, that's supposed to close. And then, see how this thing became yeah. creamy and cheesy and yummy? Like, like yeah. thick cream. You go like that on the top and this is your french dip so this you will kind of grab it in a minute and dip it here or there's the other way around the other way around is the classic way okay the classic way is the following is the following Ooh, you put this you off soak the it yeah. into the sauce, the sauce. without dipping it without dipping it so you soak it in you soak it in it has to soak in yeah and then meat oh no pickles hold on yeah <laughs> forgot the pickles. pickles and then, you and then the meat. meat all right and then we go caramelized cheesy onions, onions that are burning my fingers and here we go come back in a minute for tasting now is the moment of truth now selena you're gonna go with the french dip leona you're gonna go with the classic yeah okay, okay. so french dip first yeah I dip, dip squeeze it in so it doesn't <laughs> fall squeeze it yeah bite into it bite into it that's like the weirdest grip i've ever seen for a sandwich honestly <laughs> leona Oh my god, <laughs> I want a bite. Ah, that's, <laughs> looks so good, no seriously. No, you don't have to be like, uh, because you're, you know, you have to be like honest. Can I have another bite? Yeah, because you have an onion dripping down your chin. Yeah, you can. No, every time you have a bite, you have to dip. Oh. It's a French dip, oh, silly. Yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah, don't be sorry. <laughs> Leona, mm. I think the sauce is all the way down to your ah. elbow. Is it good? Is it bad? No, it's good! It's amazing! <laughs> okay. Guys, that's it for tonight. See you next time. Hope you enjoyed! Yeah, don't Bye. talk when your mouth is full. <laughs>